Hi everyone, my name is Steph, this is Little Bookish Teacher and today I'm really excited to share with you a children's series that I did not know existed and I stumbled across it and I found copies of the books and fell in love with it. And I should probably have known about this earlier because this is one of my favourite author and illustrated duos. It is Laura and Philip Bunting and I didn't know they had novels. I have so many of their picture books, I absolutely adore their picture books, but I didn't know they had some novel length texts and they are very very entertaining. The series is called The Wildlife and the very first book is called A Very Long Walk. Our main characters are Wombat and Rue and Wombat is very much a character who likes to stay at home, doesn't like to venture far, but at the very beginning of this book is very hungry and is in need of food and Rue convinces Wombat that there are berries to be found if they only go for a little walk, except that little walk happens to be a big walk up a mountain. And so it is a great story of friendship and perseverance. It is highly, highly entertaining. Laura and Philip Bunting make references to some very popular children's literature in here as well, which I just thought was the best thing ever. I love when texts refer to other texts. I think it's just a really fun nod to the stories that have come before these ones. The book is full colour illustrations with text. It does sit sort of in that juncture between junior fiction and middle fiction, so really for seven to ten year olds. The second book is A Line in the Sand, and in this one we meet Quokka, who if you have read Philip Bunting's book Not Cute, which features a quokka, this is implied that it is the same quokka. It is hilarious. So in this one it's a very hot day and Wombat and Rue end up sort of burning themselves on the very hot ground and so they try and find the water so they're very close to a beach so that they can cool off and wait out the days so that the ground cools down. And they come to the beach and they find that quokka is already there and quokka is quite territorial and does not want to share the beach and in the end grants them a very small parcel of the beach. That's the line in the sand. This is a really great book to talk about sharing and to talk about attitude. It also brings back all of those themes of friendship. Again, it is full colour illustrations. It's very funny. There is a lot of humour in these books. They're very Australian, but I think they would be really entertaining stories for kids no matter where they lived in the world. As always, the illustrations are just absolutely adorable and engrossing. I was just incredibly excited to find these books and now they're some of my favourites so I will leave links to where you can find out more information about them down below. If you have read them or if you have read any other Laura and Philip Bunting's other books feel free to chat to me about them down below because I just love when these two work together because the results are always top notch. So if you're interested in me talking about the picture books that I have by them, feel free to let me know in the comments. If you want to let me know that you're here but you don't want to leave a comment, feel free to leave a kangaroo emoji down below. Otherwise, I hope that wherever you are in the world, you're staying safe and healthy, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, everyone.